Japan, including the gift that we bear. And whatever adds, well, starting from the fact that the storm happened exactly as we have arrived, seems to confirm the theory that whoever or whatever is behind the current events wanted us here. And that speaks either of great stupidity or great confidence or arrogance. Problem is that sometimes this arrogance has been earned. Is there anyone that is enemies with the Wanderers that would be able to pull off something like this? Mm. Huh, I even I I even wonder would they even be informed about it? Because that might not be the case. Give me a moment. Okay. Uh, there's a very pregnant pause as Bahmir, Vorver, and Ulfgar. Silently look at one another, ha carrying like the entire silent conversation, and it, it like the atmosphere itself seems to like grow heavier, and Vorver says. There is a possibility, however, last reports indicate that being was occupied on other planes of existence, interfering with the guild business and elsewhere. We'd rather keep this knowledge on need-to-know basis, if it will become apparent that the being in question might be involved we will be updating you with information as needed understood Oops. Well. Now then. Go ahead. Yeah, give me a moment. Uh, I need to gather my thoughts. Uh, <laughs> so we have that, we have that. So, uh, in terms of immediate uh, goals, objectives, uh, well, there is a possibility of, uh, like, is checking out the, if this monastery actually exists. There is mm -hmm. also an option of moving up the river, uh, considering how much we have missed or how much was uh, hidden, deceived from us. There is a possibility that some other civilization or there are other places where we can find potentially uh, allies or maybe signs of that someone lived here before and usually they would be building settlements near the rivers so 
moving up the river and checking that is uh, also an option. Quickly grab a drink, throw it back. Okay. Yep. Uh, fuck. Wasn't there looking for a boat? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. That's a, this is also an option of like checking the. Um, scouring the coastlines, uh, looking for. Potential, maybe caverns uh, or like coves, caves that may be used as a like naval basis. So that's also a possibility. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I need to like revert a little bit and go from the not from the start, but like. How he would say that the continuous objectives that all of us in this group should be on the lookout for is uh, searching for survivors and bringing them uh, here, continuously searching for more supplies, <sighs> and also looking for survivors that includes command squad if anyone has uh, survived. Our fleet had also some skyships, so it might be possible Ooh. they have crash landed somewhere on the island. Uh, so that also is one of the potential goals objectives that uh, you should have in mind while traveling out in the wilds. And then in the um, terms of uh, priority is investigating the island, the, the land, in search of more evidence involving... Are there searching for uh, more clues and information regarding uh, the current situation, uh, what is going on, if you have managed, if uh, Mr. Zixos and his group managed to find this summoning circle, perhaps there's more knowledge to be found about what is uh, going on in here. Uh, then, obviously, if possible, finding uh, allies amongst the uh, Come back. natives. Welcome back. Okay. If I may, and of I course that yeah. uh, rescuing our own or finding allies would be more pertinent the most as yeah, yeah. we need manpower, we need labor. The next would indeed be investigating for more clues onto what is going on here as information is key. Correct. Without information, uh, rather, Bachmi just not and Volver says, correct. Without information, we are mostly stumbling in the dark. And I believe we might, we have to uncover secrets or find out what is going on if we want to reach out to our homeland and to the guild itself. Because if we will be able to reestablish communication, the guild will be able to send reinforcements and then whoever or whatever is behind all of this they will simply lose well you got any else to add mm. uh, success having been writing on a small note Mm-hmm. Zixus can write? Hey! <laughs> Look, I, my master was proud of my handwriting. Come on! 
He just he just shows us that it's like fucking child. <laughs> How do I say it is legible, but it is not something to be proud of. <laughs> I have expected it to be like just like this piece of clay that he writes in by slashing his sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then suck. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, yeah. Uh, if she can think of anything else, I just... There you go. I wrote down the possible options we have. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> probably there will be like one more thing. And actually this is not like... High on priority because, as, as they did mention, that the immediate biggest threats seem to be taken care of. Uh, but obviously, you did they did found maps that point towards other tribes existing mm -hmm. on the island, like lizard folk, kobold, uh, lizard folk, kobold, orc, goblin, and then. Uh, Fuck, how do I pronounce that? Sahwagin? Sahwagin. Sahwagin. Mm -hmm. Sahwagin. And yeah, then the, the, there's basically uh, like a symbol of a uh, uh, rusted, moss covered uh, trident on the. Uh, coast, but generally all of these tribes are like farther, like much farther away. So it would be like a day's worth, or perhaps even uh, because I can't do like proper math right now. But it would be like, like definitely like a day's worth of uh, travel to reach them. Oh, mommy, which island are we on again? Uh, Point Aguila to the bottom. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd love to do the Yorks, but I think the Yorks were like what down here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So like that would be some trekking. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think just once a boat. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, <laughs> just so you know, there. I mean, boat is one thing. There is a possibility of, according we, to the maps can, and information, we could there, walk. there is a mm -hmm. natural pathway here. There's a, like a natural bridge here. Uh huh. Let's see. We, Distance to Point Aguila. Let's say we follow the river. We, I mean, we could we could just walk like this. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I mean, if you if you think that I won't throw a sea base like deep sea base encounter, then mm -hmm. bring it. I have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> I've got reach. Imagine if Simon is rejoining us like two sessions later. All right, where are you? You're at the bottom of the sea fighting a giant lantern. Or something. <laughs> Why are we here? You're looking for orcs. What? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, whether or not it's the full tribe or just like a small tribe, it does seem like an interesting thing to go and find out about. Uh -huh. It is troubling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because last time you, I, I mean, at some point, I imagine both Azor and Koron, they cut off. If I remember correctly, they you did cut off your connect, not connection, but like you cut off yourself from the tribe. Koron thought he killed uh, his father, which is also <laughs> Azor's father by default as well. <laughs> um, that's uh, Koron thought he killed the father. Yeah, but what I'm getting at you, def like in character, you didn't exactly keep track of what was going on with the tribe. Like, not, that wasn't oh, something that interested you. I think it was something that the tribe viewed him as as, as an outsider. I viewed him as, hey, he's still an orc, and you know, he, he killed the leader. Like, he, mm -hmm. he's in charge now. So I, that's yeah. why I'm kind of following him. So yeah. So I was just like, we we need to go take the tribe back yeah mm -hmm. this, might be like, this might be a slitzer one then we can just go beat the shit out of them and take, yeah yeah take the tribe. like like last Where? time i think didn't you guys have to run from the tribe because you were d badly wounded mm. uh, yeah so corin it is corin um having received training went out uh 
it was either part of his order to defend like somewhere from uh an, an orc raid or whatever something on those lines but he came face to face with a uh, with his uh progenitor uh and killed him in single combat uh the problem is of course is that he's technically he was an outsider as zach said so the rest of the tribe turned on him while azrak would have stood up for him and as a result they would have uh, had to flee i think that, that was the general yeah yeah general so stuff. i mean even then that? perhaps much has changed since you have your paths have separated from the tribe but back then from what you have known it is really damn suspicious and weird that if this is this if this is actually the same tribe that you know and not someone just ripping off their symbol it is it is hella sus it is hella suspicious that apparently they are here <laughs> A giant YouTube symbol descends from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it slams down upon the orc tribe. <laughs> um, where was no, the... we made it original. Uh, go ahead. So mm. where, where was the giant's monastery? I mean... You... <laughs> Again, I will not say this is giant's monastery because giants are living in the mountains. But the monastery might have been uh, allied, but you do not know who exactly lives there. Uh, if you decide to go for it, uh, Bach Bachmir will point you towards like a direction to one of the paths that leads upwards towards the uh, mountains in the like general area where uh, it might be that you will be able to. Uh, search, however, this is that this will be definitely like a trek for. Well, we are looking at definitely like a trek, you know, of like minimum 150 miles to 200 potentially. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna take some time. Yeah, I think that's our closest objective, though. I mean, yeah, I think that's not could be an interesting one. Uh, we'll also get a better. Uh, let me do this to exercise. Yes, this could be good. We'll also get to see all the things from on top of the mountains. Uh, it, it's rather nice being tall. He says, looking angrily at that track. Um, um, <laughs> Wait, what was that? It's rather nice being tall. He says, looking angrily at that track. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I, I suggest we make that our priority. Possible allies and a viewpoint to view the surroundings. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh. obviously it's hard to figure out what's the height of the mountain range on this map. I would say my idea is that while this is not exactly the like Mount Everest level, it's... Uh, still pretty these mountain ranges are still pretty pretty high like between mm -hmm. f actually i need to like double check because i was i was gonna have to say but I, maybe that's even close towards the mount everest no so that's still like high so i would say that the highest peaks are like between f five to, to six thousand meters above the ground So yeah, that will be your. Uh, that will be the plan. Yeah, that head be the towards plan. the mountains. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would imagine again. I will have to like uh, do the generate loot and figure out what you will be able to get from that uh, locations between the sessions. Uh, so I didn't have that prepared today. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that you before moving out, you would have also. Mm -hmm. Uh, you would also like assuming you would have enough money you would have commissioned more um, items from Ulfgar mm -hmm. yeah so this is something that we'll be dealing with the in the next uh, session I will have to like I'd, I'd recommend giving stuff. like gold between sessions so we don't spend a session just buying stuff and we can just buy stuff until the next session i mean that's mm -hmm. what i was doing the previous times but it's up to you guys when you will like 
I'm or maybe I'm pretty sure I did it that way that I between the sessions I met a handout and or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm no, no. You get you gave the gold at the start of the session. Hmm. Oh well, you gave the handout, but we were you know it's kind of hard going through with the party who wants what you know. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but yeah, definitely will be. I will be placing a handout. Uh, uh, mm. between the sessions and mm -hmm. I don't know assuming if you want to play a scene between yourselves or maybe talk with an NPC about something we still have a little bit of time if not then I would be imagining that this is where we'll be calling it for today mm. because I would have mm. like just I have like We'll have stuff to prepare for the next week. I mean, we could do a random encounter. I not random mm. encounter. Do you have any encounters prepared? We could do a short battle. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to, like for the mountains. I would definitely. I only have for the mountains. For the mountain encounters, I would definitely have to like prepare. Yeah, yeah, but like you probably have some for the place we're nearby. And yeah, I feel like right, sure, but that's still the case of. You probably might be able to like avoid it because. No, no, no! Let's not avoid it this time. We're looking for a fight. We're eager, <laughs> looking for the giants. I'm. Mm -hmm. I've got nothing for us to do when we're bored, so we're gonna go fight. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna go kick a door in. Yeah, Sadly, we're, I mean, we're again, I rolled. Kicking in the door. I rolled sixty-eight on the table. That's like nothing happens. <laughs> All right, let's keep rolling. We're looking, around, we're going around looking for shit. And then we get, we fight a dragon. Nothing yeah, happens. Yeah, let's go fucking die to a dragon. We're, we're, we're gonna get kicked in the door. I want to kill uh, something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. Okay, that is the. Remember that band of random beasts that oh. that looked like a very weird eclectic collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twenty four is them. All right, let's go beat up some random beasts. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, it's supplies. We need food for the non-immortals. Yes, true, true, true. Uh, exactly. We have zero non-immortals with us, but we still need the food, right? <laughs> hey, exactly. Food mm -hmm. uh, here. It's how about this? Well. Food is important for morale. Oh, yes, you're right. Actually, let's go beat these beasts up. Mm -hmm. And the uh, materials as well. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. <laughs> Like, we don't have to eat, but, you know, you probably feel kind of shitty after not having good food for a while. True, yeah. true. Mm. An army marches up on its stomach, after all, and we're five people. That counts as an army, right? <laughs> well, I didn't mean exactly. just for us, I meant for the camp. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I do think we have non immortals in the camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You, we rescued you definitely, a bunch you definitely of them. have. Yeah, we do. We, res we rescued a couple of them in our glorious charge against the kobolds. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, let's see. They will be placed like that. I mean, you are serious about that, right? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. We are. yeah, we're really serious. Definitely. Worst case I, scenario, I, we die and, you know, get okay. up and... Let How do I say? I, I think everyone in this party quite enjoys combat, so yeah. Um... We've got Azrak and Corrin, who definitely enjoy a good fight. Zixus. Definitely enjoys a good fight. Well, I think he just means out of character. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh... So, yeah, we've, so yeah, we've got Zach and I, we enjoy a good fight. <laughs> Julius enjoys mm -hmm. a good fight. <laughs> okay, we all enjoy fighting. You... Some of us enjoy dying more than others. Hey! Also makes it I mean... just smaller. This looks weird. Mm. Uh. I mean, Thank S you. Simon's, Simon's not here. Like uh, Simon's kind of iffy on combat. He really runs good combat when he's the DM, but... Mm -hmm. He's he, like he's not great on the player side too much. Nope, sadly. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's organize ourselves just quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. I need to remember what bar I'm using for uh, for my armor marks. I'm very happy I found this map. This is one of the like generic maps someone made for Vaults of Velton, which is like five mm -hmm. edition module. Which it wasn't even in the fucking module. It was like a fan that played it, and I said, you know what? I'm I'm gonna make better maps. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm such a dumb cunt. Oh, I, I forgot to completely. Oh, I need to write in my. I, I've given myself the 
the effects of like some of these feet of the class features, but I've not actually written them down. We'll see. <laughs> I need uh -huh. to look at what Armager's Mark does, honestly. Ah, um, fuck. If you, deal, if you attack a creature uh, and you deal at least one point of damage uh -huh. as a reaction, you can um, mark them and they receive a minus four penalty to attacking anyone uh, other than me. There will be more. Oh. But nice. I also curse them when I do that. Uh -huh. hey, man, we've got two Armager's Marks. This is not going to be pleasant because they're going to take that minus... If we Armager nice. Mark the same creature, they're going to take a minus four no matter uh -huh. what. <laughs> And damned if you do, and very damned if you don't. Mm. I will be grabbing a powerful mark as well at some point, which increases the penalty by the plus two. Would you see? Ah, yeah, because I, I remember you did roll. Stuff. Well, we I still remember the best build ever. Um, I had a build that could grapple, pin. And tie you up in the matter of one round. Mm -hmm. Nice cow cow cowboy gameplay you got going there. And, and, mm -hmm. and, well, I mean, at that point, you're helpless because you're tied mm -hmm. up. So, like, if you really like, you're out of the combat. But if like you really wanted to kill him, we could just like coup de gras them. Mm -hmm. Or you end every single fight with like ten hog tied fucking giants or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, I remember last time you found this group, you did roll enough to like identify some of their all their names. If you don't see a token name for the token, uh, we can me. see all of them. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I still need to copy some of them because there's like more than. Okay, so two flame murder salamanders, two giant mantises, <laughs> a giant thor, uh, three giant black widow spider. <laughs> I just like the idea that we've got. Yeah, we'll try not to die in the event that you know when we go down, something is happening, and then we're just going, yeah, let's go find a fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> something tells us that our character is like, yes, sir, yes, yes, teacher, we'll do the thing. Leaves the classroom. What was he saying again? I don't remember. <laughs> Fate giant. Mm-hmm. If anyone asked, we were just patrolling. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, this group of monsters post a hazard to anyone else. <laughs> yes, they were just uh, officer. Was... He was just peacefully standing there. How could I let that slide? Mm. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna put it like that. Fuck. Uh, like that. Oh, this is so so many large creatures, holy shit. And you would probably be like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Initiative rolls. Let's go. Uh, it is. Let's fucking go. We'll probably Roll die horribly, die. but I'm look I'm looking forward to it at least. Ah <laughs> oh, come on! Success is too excited to, to charge properly. Ah, mm. oh, there my hurt. Right. You know you know how it works, Julius. The lower your initiative, the higher you roll. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> see, I did worse than you. <laughs> yeah. We'll Somehow. see how much of that combat we'll be able to play. Because mm -hmm. I imagine that Donut will have to go in like 20 minutes. No, not? I'm good. No, I'm good. No, okay. no. How long can everyone be here? Uh, first of all, you, you GM. Mm -hmm. uh, probably for like hour and 20 minutes more. Mm -hmm. Zach? I'm good. I'm Donut? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. So an hour and 20 minutes is the deadline. All right, let's try and beat these guys up in time. Mm -hmm. I need to fucking... I didn't expect that, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, you need to fucking oh, oh. roll. A lot of initiative. Yeah. Uh, yeah, by group, I recommend grouping them. Like all Black Widows go on the same turn. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, but, but still, that's still a lot of different types of enemies. Yes, I know, I know. I'm just, you know, trying uh, to look a bit. Howler. <laughs> yeah, I'm grouping them, but that's still uh, Giant Black Widow, Giant Mantis, Giant Wind Chupacabra. Really? Just out of curiosity, uh, just out of curiosity, <laughs> Zach. How much did you yeah. spec into grappling? Uh. I will Fate be going more uh, technically, technically, not at all. 
the the bit um I only had three feet. Uh, okay. And so my three okay. feet right now are um uh one's two up in fighting and the other two are getting uh shield gauntlet style. Uh how <laughs> sixteen because I'm also going to get it so I can shield bash with the gauntlets. Oh my god. Because, <laughs> you know, free bash attack every time I hit with the shield. Uh, free bull rush every time I hit with someone, right? Oh my god. I, I've, I've gone a little bit uh, more quaint. I grabbed Pikeman tr Pikeman's Training, Improved Shield Bash, and Martial Mastery Polar. No, but um, next uh, level I'm getting a stance that's going to give uh, me Constrict Damage. Wait, 16. Six. Which <laughs> fires on a grab. That's oh yeah, that's two. right. Yeah, I think uh, Julius uh, sent me that. Sixteen oh one. What my what are my stances currently? I've got one really good one and one really bad one. I've got two. I've got two okay ones because you know level one stances. Yeah, and I'm going to be using both because the first one gives me ten percent movement increase. <laughs> <laughs> and the second one, he has the 1d6 damage. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I start combat and movement, and until and le stay in it until I'm next to an enemy, then I swift action into my damage. Yep. Yeah, I've got what well, starts the defending shell, which is like plus one shield AC, is pretty bad. Um, and then I've got Phalanx Lancer, which is uh, plus 1d6 damage oh. to uh, uh, plus 1d6 so damage for four. shield bashing. Uh, striking with the weapon. Amusingly, I can also interlock shields as a free action with people, which your gauntlets would technically count as shields. They already do. In which case, <laughs> if we move up together, you can interlock as a free does, action. Does it, have, does it have to count as a buckler? Like, is what? it okay if it counts as a buckler? Uh, let's have a look. Is it still technically a shield, but... No, it just says... It literally just says... Uh, it literally just says uh, they slot their shields as a free action. Mm, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's oh, no. Activate this fucking thing. Oh, that's pretty funny. Mm. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. while you guys are moving together, you guys have plus one AC each. Uh, yeah. Actually, that might be an idea. I might need to swap out that. Oh, I should have. I shouldn't have gotten the plus one shield stance. I should have gotten the uh, run hunt stance. All right. So as you as you have traveled through the uh, forest, you have not really stumbled about crossed the paths with the. Eclectic bunch of wandering beasts of all kinds and shapes uh, that also look pretty eager for combat. <laughs> How convenient. Oh, oh, that's mm. legendary. Yeah. As they <laughs> begin to uh, roar, hiss, let out various uh, sounds of combat when they when the both groups meet uh Zillo, you are the fastest you begin wait should uh, i enlarge your token or not yet oh Zillo is the fastest that's Zillow's what i was like that's what i say it's like i'm at the bottom yeah uh we've got we've got a fey giant toad and a flame Brother Salaman. Oh, you uh, have probably the token from last map. Ah, it didn't update. Sorry, I thought it updated. Uh, like, hover over it, and if you don't see it on this map, you you know it's yeah. someone else. It, it won't update for us, because we can't see that, because you just have... Like, your turn tracker is every map, our turn tracker is this map. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. And so it won't update for us, because we're not on that map. Mm hmm Oh, I'd like to have been first. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I see Zillo. I think I deleted someone. Wait. You deleted mine. Zillo, Azrak, and... I will re-roll and input what it was before. You had, I think it was 1703. Uh, it was... It was 1703. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And... Which is like the brother. 
Sixus has ah, eight, you. Uh, no, seven, seven, seven. So, mm. if we can just get the turn order for like this refresh, that'd be appreciated, please. I think it did. Uh oh, is yeah. Okay, let me just uh. Yeah, you are. Uh, oh, there no, we do it again. No. Yeah, okay. can you do it again, please? Sorry. Right. There we go. Thank you. Uh, okay, so uh, the giant fucking toad that looks Ribbit. has like freaking <laughs> wings on it. <laughs> Although, oh my god, it can it can fly. Wait, so it's not only the Chupacabra, but this fucking thing can fly. Uh, okay, so it's gonna fly 30 feet up. And then it's gonna move because it, it has 25. Uh, then it's gonna... Move like that. Uh, fuck, and now I need to find the entangle. Ugh. Uh, 40 radius spread. Um, okay, so... No, I... Fuck, fuck these spells. Uh, it's gonna double move, so now it's gonna move like... That. Okay, and then Salamanders, which have 20 movement speed. They gonna double move. Like that. Like that. Uh, Coron. Okay, let's have a look here. How do we want to approach this? Do we just want to rush in or what? Uh, we should probably uh, we should probably deal with the cockatrice first. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's going to be a mess. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, I really wish I'd actually grabbed that stance. That'd been really handy, um, which improved, which would increase my move speed. Uh, Corin is going to move and this is this is with the run action and i can only move three times my speed mm -hmm. so corn is going to move yeah to... i'm gonna say for now the map doesn't count as a hard difficult terrain it's just a forest thank god for that move to here okie dokie that your turn? Let's, yeah, that's my turn. All right, Azrak. Charge is double distance, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Azrak will move there, <laughs> so I get plus two to AC yeah. right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready my fists. Okay, okay. So what you what you you've moved there? You've, you're benefiting from Aegis, and then what you've locked shields? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Somehow. <laughs> We <laughs> locked shields with my gauntlet. Okay, that, mm -hmm. oh, that means I also wait. Oh, that means I also get plus one to AC as well. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> AC gang. <laughs> but now that we're here, I will swift action into my uh, damage stance instead of my movement stance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, howlers, which surprisingly enough, they are not howling, they seem to be mute. Uh, they seem huh. to like altered in a way. However, they, they still have their quills, uh, and seeing as they like whip their heads to the side, seeing that our enemies coming from the trees. Uh, been bamboozled. Uh, yeah, these fuckers will. What's their movement speed? Oh, they are pretty fast. Uh, let's see, would he be able to... Actually, hold on, would he even be able to figure out that you have that much reach? Uh, let's see, that, that's his perception. That, that's its perception. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say he figures it out. But would I be even able to get... Mm. Well, keep in mind, this isn't necessarily my reach, this aura here, but yeah, I get your point. Yeah, but essentially... I mean, do you have 15 feet reach? Or 10? Uh, it's 10. Ah, but still counts, okay. Uh, but still, that guy is not able to get there. He would not be able to get there. Uh, Okay, fuck it. Uh, they have reached five, so they will have to like provoke from you. One of them will be going like that. He will actually no, he will not charge. He'll just like you know, fluffy bounce on you, but he will okay. probably be provoking. Yeah, I think he also. Oh, I don't. I don't think he. Pro... I don't think he broke some as rack though from the looks of it. Uh, I have that's a ten foot reach, so yeah. Now you want it, and the second one would have moved like that. Okay, well they both provoke then in that case. So uh, this is the first one to the first that creature. Yeah. Uh, so it would have been that one first. Yeah, uh, twenty five hits for uh, twelve, I believe. Yep, twelve damage. Okay, it doesn't As have. Corin just swings the bent common hammer. And a damage resistance. A 10, of course, misses. And yep. they both uh, will try to actually hit you with their quills. Okay. As. Uh, yeah, they are not trying to bite you, even though it would probably be better. Uh, but yeah, they are trying to smack, hit you with their quills. Uh, so that's one attack. What's nope. the penalty for grappling with one hand? Uh, uh, nothing, if, nothing if you have grapple, the grapple special ability. Oh yeah, because yeah. I have grab, right. Mm -hmm. I have minus four, but... Uh, okay. you can take both of those miss. Uh, giant you can take a minus mantises. 20 penalty as well to just pick something up. Mm -hmm. What? I can't do that yet. I you can. Didn't, didn't... No. I, I, I can take a minus 20 penalty, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't... Hit with a minus 20 penalty. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, but you can hope for an at 20. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're going to be a little bit swarmed here. <laughs> just, just a little. It's okay. What's your mm -hmm. AC currently, out of curiosity? Uh, plus two from you. Fair. That would put me at 19. Okay. I don't have a shield anymore. Actually, wait, I do have a shield because my shield it counts as well. <laughs> yeah. So what does that, what does that make your AC? Buckle, buckler is what, plus one? Yeah, yeah. plus one. Yeah. Then, uh... That mantis just, just makes a five foot step. And I it like, it. shh, and tries hmm? to, and it has ten feet reach, so... Uh... It's trying to claw you. It'll get better once I get further down Shieldy Gauntlet, because then, um... Okay. So with my their claws... My enhancements counts towards AC. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, the other Mantis, because they're supposed to be free... Or... wait... Didn't I...? There's a second one there. Yeah. Oh no, wait, maybe there are only two, because there are three Black Widows. Hold on. Uh, yeah, sorry, two. So that's right. Uh, uh, the other one will be. No. Nope. I should have sorted out my maneuvers. So I'm going to quickly just do that now. Bear with one moment. Uh, the other one will make a double move. Uh, they have 30, so that's 30. Uh, that's 50, that's 60. It's trying to make like a flanking maneuver. Okay. Uh, Cockatrice. What the Cockatrice can do? Uh, it can charge me. It can try to charge me. <laughs> yes, thankfully they do not have... Uh, Petrification attack, but they do have petrification in general. 
And it, it can also fly. Huh. Yeah, it would, uh, yeah, those that can fly, they would have started like flying because I only thought that there's the one creature that can fly, but apparently not. Uh, so, the Goya tree is... And then it will... Yeah, attack the closest target. Which it will be uh, apparently going uh, like that. I mean, I say close, but let's say it's... For the purposes, it's like doing the... Does it have fly by attack? No, it does not. It just charges from the air. Mm -hmm. So, I, I assume, so it was like somewhere here, so I assume it just sort of goes... Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. that was... Yeah. Well, when it tries to go from 10 feet to 5 feet, I'll make my attack of opportunity. Yeah, yeah, it provokes from you, of course. That, that is misses. a two. That is a two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, okay, so uh, the Cocatrice tries to bite you. <laughs> that, <was a> two. <laughs> that is a two! <laughs> <laughs> but somehow. It also misses. I, I give the cockatrice a knowing look. I understand the pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next time! Mm -hmm. I'll get ya. <laughs> Not even uh... that, it's just a, 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 like a, a look of um, mutual pity. I, mm -hmm. I guess I could call it. Yeah. Uh, average. Um... Okay, I'm gonna make a roll for something. No, it can't figure out if you have any attacks of opportunity left. Eh, let's see. So, which, which the, creature's the going to uh, I'm mean, guessing it's the two of us, the answer is yes. Hmm? Okay, uh, but actually that's not... <laughs> oh yeah, that's... wait a minute, does a... Uh... D does the Fiendbound Marauder get the, uh... Yes. Get the, oh, they will, oh, they still keep combat reflexes with, uh... Yes. In... <laughs> How he would go. I still have defensive focus. <laughs> so do I! <laughs> the best part is, though, like that. since I can grapple on a hit, they stop. Like that. <laughs> Done. Okay. Uh... So, Giant Wing Chupacabra will conduct a flyby attack. <laughs> flyby attack does still provoke. Uh, does it? I'll find a... From the target of the attack, no. Haha! -ha. But that means it still provokes from whoever it's not, and we both have temperature. Knock him out of the sky, Gorin! As mm -hmm. so, I mean, this is how it's gonna move. Like... Sorry. That. So, uh, anyways, so, what? like that, 40 uh, feet. I think you might be on GM layer. Oh, there we go, okay. So this is where it's striking, trying to strike Axrak with its uh, bite. And then it will be moving... Uh, because it has 60, so fucking hell. Uh, is it uh, an ability that makes it not provoke when it's doing it? I mean, let me double check the flyby attack thing, because yeah, that's, a, that's a feat. Yeah, I've, I've just found it. It says, when flying the creature can have move action and another standard action at any point during the move. But there's nothing that says about not provoking. True. I think there's an improved flyby attack or something that uh, does it yeah. for a monster it, feat. It even improved, um, it gives it a full attack action at any point, it still oh. provokes. Oh, it doesn't say that it doesn't provoke. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's okay. weird because even that, that in the description of the creature, it states that uh, basically it uses flyby attacks and acrobatics to swoop in, attack, and deny attacks of ah, opportunity. Ah, acrobatics. Uh, uh, acrobatics that's, well, that's to avoid AOS. 
So make yeah. an acrobatic check versus their CMD, and if it succeeds, it dodges their attacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so that tries to like swoop in, so it moved for 40 feet, let's say. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my god, what is acrobatics? I don't know why I, why I thought that uh, flyby attack automatically gives. Uh, I mean, that's reasonable. Mm. And that's a reasonable bonus there. <laughs> like, that's gonna avoid mine. Yeah, that mm -hmm. avoids my CMD as well. Alright. Oh, uh, I add my class level to my CMD for uh, uh, that. for just this, but that's still enough. <laughs> yeah, well, keep in mind, the, um, for defensive focus, only if we use um, defensive focus that we add our uh, uh, okay. initiation modifier and class level. Mm. All right. Is that so, our only way to get stuff back? Yeah. So it tries <laughs> yeah. to bite you. Oh. For not that fucking is. one. And then it will... Fly away. Fly away like... Uh, fly away. Like that. Fly, fly away. Get in mind, when, <gasps> using, when, when using the tumble action, its move speed is halved. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, let's presume it made it this, yeah. uh, this far this yeah. time, and we can figure it yeah. out next time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's just one to keep in mind with that. It does. Okay. Yeah. It is. It doesn't consider it a tumble, but okay. It, okay. I guess it works. That's how. Ah, it, it's ah, it's called tumble. Right. Okay, fuck. So I probably still take a move action and standard. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, Zixus. All right. Zixus on the field. <sighs> Uh, I can I move like this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then it's charging time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's move like this. Uh. Yes, yeah. Cord and Azrax surrounded by beasties. Actually, uh, give me a second. They'll be <laughs> fine. 44, so can I... Yeah, I can get it. Uh, it's grouping up time, boys. I want that AC bonus. Uh, That's the point of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, you, should get a uh, you should get a buckler. Nobody's in reach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep right. in mind. Yeah, that'd be really funny, actually. Do you have an aura, or is that just your range? That's my range. There okay. I would be, actually. I'm gonna try and kill the cockatrice. Uh -huh. So, let's... Make this uh, attack, and uh, oh, oh dear! <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah. Mm, so the total is uh, thirty-one damage, as I apparently just crit. Uh huh. Fucking hell! That thing had twenty-seven hit points. <laughs> oh, <laughs> success! Charges in, cuts at it, sheets his sword. And like looks at it. hold on, wait, are you already- wait, wait, I actually killed it, what? <laughs> <laughs> then as a swift action, he switches his, his stance and then his turn, ends his turn. Yeah, that creature mm -hmm. is eviscerated and both halves of the body just splatter onto the forest uh, floor. Mm -hmm. Blood spraying everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are like random monsters, I didn't give them maximum hit points, but even ah, if I give them... Mm -hmm. Maximum hit points for Cockatrice would be 50. But I like, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Success uh, AC goes up. Alright, so now Wolverine. Uh, it's way the fuck back. Uh, hold on. Fay Wolverine. Because it has an ability to use that. And it would be like silly if that would actually work. Uh, but god damn. No, it oh. wouldn't. Because I'm thinking about Charm Person. No. Because <laughs> Faith Wolverine has that. Oh god. Let's not. But yeah, it's up to you. <laughs> I mean, technically, all the rest of its friends are attacking you, so it would be getting like bonus. Ah, fuck it. Mm -hmm. he, he, does, he, he will not be able to get in range, so. Yeah, Charm Person on, uh, let's see, one Coron, two Azrak, three Zixos. Sure. Uh, because, yeah, 
you will be in range. Which one's using it? Uh, Faye Wolverine. This one. Mm -hmm. Alright. We have plus five uh, on our roll. Zixos. Okay. Yeah, I remember and... you got a plus one bonus because of um... <laughs> Mm -hmm. And that charm go. person has DC 13. Oh. Mm. What other DC it uses its spell? Well, if it's DC 13, I automatically pass if you add 6 to, uh, six to this. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't hit the bo the no, boss, I would have failed. Fucked. Yes. Interesting, okay. So mm -hmm. the very I know that's used. Uh... This would have been hilarious if, if it hit me, I failed, and then it told me to attack Corrin. I was like, no. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> all Charm Person does, it makes me their friend. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm not to attack my brother for my friend. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, now join Black Widow. Yeah, if you told me to attack Zixus, I might have just shrugged and be like, okay. <laughs> I literally need... <laughs> Two minutes, I need to take a peace break, but I'll be okay, just I'm back. <coughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, gi giant black widows. Uh, they have reach? No. Fuck me. Uh... Uh, fuck it, the one that's closest will just step in. Risking it, and... Would you guys still have attacks of up? I think Coron would, but I don't think Zack would. Uh, I do, but it um, I got that. doesn't provoke for me because I only have 10 feet. Yeah, it moves like that, so I think Coron, it pro that Black Widow provokes from you. Uh, yeah, that provokes me. Yeah, because it approaches and it tries to bite you. That's a miss. <laughs> uh, yeah, sadly 13 is a miss. They have yeah, trying to bite me. <laughs> pretty, pretty low AC, but not that low. Yeah. Okay, let's see if, if it will be able to hit you. Not with those rolls. Alright. Uh, the other Black Widows, because there are two of them. Uh, t -t 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 <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, it's such a funny image right now. <laughs> of course it's... It says they have web special attack that it's ranged, but of course it doesn't state what's the range. I presume 30, 30 feet. feet. Yeah. If it doesn't uh, say, just presume 30 feet. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. a special ability, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 feet. Okay. Uh, so, this Black Widow will try to spit web at uh, Zixos. Mm hmm. Go right ahead. Oh my god. Uh, web. Ah, it's not described. Does it hit AC or CMT? <laughs> or probably AC because it's, ro it's only rolling with plus 4. Oh my god. Uh, right. The second one gonna move like that. Uh, we'll try to Co one Coron to Axrak. Okay, it will try to spit webbing at Coron. Okay. Nope. Uh, I guess that's a mess. I think uh, it's okay. a 20 for that. Zillow. <laughs> it does. Hey, it's finally my turn. Mm-hmm. Alright. Don't worry, my AC's gonna get up because I'm starting to save for AC items. I think I oh. already got like... I forgot about the other giant toad. Fuck. No, let's uh, let's have Zillow have his turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's right. just, I'm just gonna I'm move it there. because it, it would move. And time for Big Pig. Big Pig. Big Pig. <laughs> It's time for the whole hog. <laughs> it's time to go all uh, Fuck. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, should I enlarge your token? Mm-hmm. All right. This way. Big pink. Mm-hmm. And that's my turn for now. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, the giant toads, uh, because there are actually two of them. <laughs> uh, now there's uh, like a cluster fuck. Uh, <laughs> this one will fly, still being thirty feet up. Actually, no. It will. It will move twenty, drop ten, and then fuck. Not this. Uh, then it will cast uh, a spell. 
<laughs> oh no. Uh, fuck me. Uh, Fatal. Because it's task casting and tangle. We should, we should get you a buckler, Zixus. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, right everyone should just get a buckler. 30 feet radius. Uh... Well, especially since Actually... you only use one hand for your katana. I mean, true. I'm pretty sure I can make the count buckler count not as a thing if I wanted. Mm. Actually, it doesn't have to fucking fly closer. Do you, do, 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 since just use the sword in one hand? I mean, you, you can use it two handed, it'll get, still give strikes in half. But I think he uses Dex for damage. Yep, oh, I yeah. use Dex for damage. Oh yeah, that's right. So yeah, he doesn't need to use it. Mm. Two handed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should get your buckler. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's the where is it here? The Scarlet Einhander. That's the reason I don't have a buckler, but I don't think it matters. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think I think with a Scarlet, I think with Scarlet Throne, you can have a. Uh, it could be no uh, no larger than a buckler. Shape. Hmm. Like I'll quickly find it. Also, so I, I like how this. Think... Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, this because... would be eligible. <laughs> yeah, because essentially uh, all of you guys. The fate out, like, probably around here. So, like, 40 feet radius. Uh, probably f from this being origin point. Uh, grass, weeds, other plants begin to wrap around creatures in the area. Ah, and take off. Yeah, entangle. Well, it something just means you can't move, right? Um, a save, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's uh, ref uh, reflex. Uh, that failed the save oh. gain. Entangled condition. The creatures that made their cells can move as normal. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna copy that. That might fail. Actually. This is not not a high CR creature, so the DC for that is ten. <laughs> oh, oh, <nice. laughs> oh wow! <laughs> okay, thankfully. Well, I guess good thing we are not playing with automatic fails on. Yeah. Throws. yeah. I'm very that. glad about that. Hmm? Okay, so we that... Don't, now we now just need a big bacon to make the reflex. So Do it, big bacon. That one has mm -hmm. the mic. Eight. Okay, Howler makes it, and then... Uh, Guess I'm waiting on the sheet to actually, like, get done where it says recalculating, because it gets locked. Oh. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Mantis fails? Oh well. <laughs> And so it just means you can't move, right? Uh, nice. you, you also take a minus two penalty on all attack rolls and minus four penalty to dexterity. Oh, nice. Which is uh, pretty, so, pretty bad, actually. So, minus two to hit, minus two to AC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thankfully, none of us got affected. <laughs> yep. uh, so that would be absolutely horrible for me, it would be minus four to <laughs> attacks, minus two to AC. Uh... Mm. Question for writer: Can a creature dispel its own spell? Uh, like if it's dismissible. Spell. If it's dismissible, yeah. Uh, let me see. Entangle, Pathfinder. Where would it say uh, if it's it, dismissible? It, it, it is dismissible. Uh, it's direct. It, it's it's the little D in brackets. Yes, you he can dismiss it. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I forget. Is it? I thought it was a move action to dismiss. A yeah, spell. it doesn't have uh, an action to do it right now, but. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other one has also a spell to use, but let's see. Does it, does it have anything fucking useful? It's actually a standard uh, action, so it's actually... Verifier, Oof. no. Hmm. Yeah, dismissing a spell is a standard action. Oof. Uh, 10 feet... This is such a cluster fuck, I love it. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> fuck. I can't get all of you without... 
because I'm gonna get these fuckers. Oh well, I will not optimize it properly. Okay, so uh, the range is pretty large, so it can just like fly like here. And then uh, uh, you see it casting a spell. Critter Dust. Uh, Zexos and Azra can make me a DC 11 will save. This is plus plus. Wait, I already have that added in. Oh! Oh no. I three. Oh, actually, a plus one, so 11 for me. I didn't add it. Mm. What's this what one? are these these saves, man? I thought like, your will save should be higher than that. Uh... What? Or did, you, or did you tank your wisdom? Uh, my, wisdom is my, plus wisdom, two. my wisdom is uh, 8, as orcs get minus 2 to all of their. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's seven and oh yeah, seven and eleven in that case.